here we should construct a DFA for the binary strings sigma is given in 0 1 having decimal equivalent divisible by 2 if decimal equivalent is divisible by 2 what will be the strings the string may be 0 or set of zeros consecutive sum 0 0 0 or 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 these are the strings which should be accepted okay now I am taking here uh, a initial state a okay if zero comes it should be accepted and zero zero comes it should also be accepted one zero comes it should be accepted I will discuss here how many remainders will be there if I divide any number with two how many remainders will be there there will be two remainders either zero or one okay so in this type of questions we shall easily know that there will be two states here because they, they are whatever number of uh, remainders are there those many states will be used here here this remainder is 0 and 1 so number of states will be 1 sorry 2 total number of states will be 2 ok so and what will be the remainder here there will be 0 and 1 will be 1 q1 ok why I am writing this suffix not q not n1 if I take one string and making its a decimal equivalent uh, if I divide it by 2 if its a remainder is 0 I will make transition to this state if its a remainder is 1 I will make transition to this state ok so 0 if I take string 0 it should be divisible by 2 because 0 is always divisible by 2 so this will be the final state also ok now I have shown transition 0 if I have to show the transition 1 if I take 1 what will be the remainder of if I divide 2 if I divide 1 sorry if I divide 1 by 2 then remainder will be 1 so 1 remainder is this state so I am making it a transition to this state ok now 1 I have 1 I have shown both the transitions 0 and 1 here I have 1 if 0 comes what will be the strength 1 0 what will be its equivalent it will be 2 so 2 divided by 2 remainder will be 0 so at 0 transition will be at q0 if it was not 0 it was 1 ok so what will be its equivalent it's at 3 if I divide 3 by 2 then remainder will be 1 so remainder 1 means I will show transition in this is state only. Okay, so this is the DFA for the strings, binary strings, whose equivalent is divisible by two. Okay, now I will construct a DFA for binary strings. Binary strings means sigma is given as 0 and 1 having decimal equivalent divisible by 3 ok 
Now, I have to divide the string by 3. How many remainders will be there? 0, 1 and 2. So, there will be 3 strings. Q0, Q1, and Q. Q0 is the initial state. Okay. If what will be the number of uh, uh, strings? Uh, what will be the strings here? We shall see here. String name may be 0, it will be 1, 0, it will be 1, it will be uh, 1, 1, it will be 1, 0, 0, it will be 1, 1, 0, the other strings also. I have to show the transitions of all strings. If I take 0 here, 0 is equivalent will be 0 and which can be divided by 3 and remainder will be 0. So I will make transition and this state only. So this will be the final state also. If I take 1 here, 0 1 means 1 only. If I take 1 only, it will be 1. So 1 when 1 is divided by 3, its remainder will be 1. So what is the suffix here? 1. So I am making it a transition. This is state to Q1. Q0 to Q1. Okay. And I have shown the transition at 0 and 1 for this state. So it is over now. Now I have to come here. At Q1, I have 1. If I take 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 equivalent is 2, decimal equivalent is 2. If I divide 2 by 3, its remainder will be 2, and remainder 2 is here. So, I am making transition at 0 in this state Q2. Okay? Now, if I had 1 only, and there is one symbol 1 here. So, this is 1, 1. It's a decimal equivalent is 3. And if I divide 3 by 3, its remainder will be 0. So, at 1, I am making transition at this Q0. Okay? Now, I have shown both the transitions at 0 and 1 at Q1. Now, I will come here. So, how I am reaching at Q2? 1, taking 1 and 0. So, if I have... 1 and 0 ok if one more 0 comes here what will be its decimal equivalent? it is a 4 if I divide 4 by 3 what will be its remainder? if 4 is divided by 3 remainder will be 1 so this is the remainder 1 street ok if Reaching at this is state Q2 by 1, 0. If I take 1, its a decimal equivalent will be 5. If I divide 5 by 3, its remainder will be 2, and this is the remainder 2 state. So, this is all about the DFA for the binary strings having decimal equivalent divisible by. Thank you.